Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, February 20. Sunshine today. Working on the uh, Cruisers Incorporated uh, Seafair. Uh, we have the, the bottom stripped to the waterline, the transom is stripped, and in an earlier video I discussed uh, the challenge we will face removing fasteners. Well, these are the fasteners, all three quarters of an inch of them. Every single one of them is so loose that I can turn them with the awl. And so we will face the prospect of removing every single one. And then comes the uh, area right beneath the transom, right at the tail end of the uh, plywood uh, bottom planking. We have a, a row of screws and a row of nails. And I just wondered how tightly these nails are in there. That one actually has sunk pretty well. But you see, all I'm using is a very, very fine awl. And out they come. Now, these nails were essentially put in provisionally, I'm told, uh, at the cruiser's factory uh, to hold the, everything in place while Drilled, uh, holes were drilled and fasteners were sunk, but they're so loose that every one of them is a, a vector for water infiltration. And some of them are so far proud that we can simply back them out by hand. The uh, the screws themselves are bedded in, uh, are all, have all been caulked with some kind of material, but that material failed eons ago. And as with the other screws on the bottom, these I can turn by simply inserting my awl into the uh, into the the slot of the. Frearson screw head and once we get this released we will go through that one's not clean enough yet Well, there, that, that, that's a good sign. At least at the transom, cruisers used real fasteners. Those are probably two and a quarter, two and a half inches long. They appear to be the old style number 10s. And the reason I couldn't back this one out is that it is so loose that it is just spinning. We use a, various kinds of picks and awls to clean these screw heads out. That one is equally. So I'll continue removing every fastener along the transom, both starboard and port. And the owner did some leak tests and water just surged through the seam between the bottom plank and the transom. So we are going to release this up and, and actually open it up and pay in uh, 50, 3 on 5200 to about here and then screw it back down so that we have a good tight seal along the transom. Well, as you can see when I turn this around, you know what I'll be doing today. There are a few screws in front of me. And we'll be removing them all. Uh, then we're going to be toothpicking, which gives us another, another challenge. Let's 
see if I can get this up close. Here, unlike other applications where we're actually sinking toothpicks into the plank that the, the screw beds in, now we have to sink the toothpicks all the way through the hole from the outside with the outside plank in place. And the problem here is the Gorilla Glue foams and expands, and so we run the risk of glue expanding in the space between this sheet of plywood and the ribs that's beneath it. We'll deal with that by sinking one fastener in each course. That will hold the plank down tightly. We can then toothpick these four holes once that is all in place and only then we can back this one out and toothpick this one. So that's an update on the 1960 Cruisers Incorporated 16 foot model 202 Seafarer. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.